If you haven't seen the first part, the link is in the description down below. Cryptocorini Flamingo. As its name implies, this crypt can turn into a shade of pink. It's not red, but it's close enough. Furthermore, it's very easy to grow. It has a slow to medium growth rate, and its light demand is relatively low. Higher lighting will also give it more coloration. In ideal conditions, its leaves will grow more horizontally. Otherwise, they will grow more upright. This is a great addition to anyone wanting to add more coloration to their low-tech aquarium, as long as you can find it. This plant is still relatively rare and very sought after. And if you do find it available, be prepared to to pay premium for it. Rotala H Raw. In low tech tanks, you might need to increase your lighting in order to get this plant redder. Otherwise, the entire stem might be a little more green to an orange shade at the top. However, if you let it grow near the top, it may further develop redder colors. H Raw can grow 3 to 20 plus centimeters tall and has a medium light demand. Echidnodorus Red Flame. This type of Echidnodorus requires very little attention to achieve any red coloration. The only requirement needed is a nutrient-rich substrate as they are heavy root feeders. Keep in mind that Echidnodorus species can also grow fairly large, so make sure to prune some leaves to prevent it from overshading other plants. Red Flame also has a low to medium light demand. Botala Waliki. This one may be a hit or miss for low tech. I've seen some posts about people being able to grow these just fine in no CO2 or wild style style tanks. However, Tropica has it listed under their advanced category. Waliki prefers softer and slightly acidic water. Waliki has a medium growth rate and can grow 10 to 30 plus centimeters tall with a high light demand. The higher light demand will make it easier for the plants to develop red shoot tips. Leganodra Miboldi Red. This plant is related to Cryptocorionis and can be handled like a crypt. Despite it having a slow growth rate, under ideal conditions, it can grow a little faster than crypts. It can also grow 10 to 20 plus centimeters long and can grow leaves as wide as 4 to 8 centimeters. Its light demand is low, but it needs sufficient lighting in order to develop more coloration. Hygarphila polysperma Wazanervig. The only reason why this is a bonus is because not everyone is able to obtain this plant. This plant is currently on the US federal noxious weed list, which means that it is illegal to import and sell. However, to those that are not in Freedom Land, this is an undemanding plant. The veins that you see on the plant is actually caused by a virus. That virus prevents the production of chlorophyll around those areas, has a medium to fast growth rate, can grow 20 to 30 plus centimeters tall, and has a low light demand. Although, in order to obtain a deeper coloration, you will need to provide higher lighting. If you do get any of these plants and are having troubles getting them even more red, this video here contains a few methods to get them even more red.